everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed, and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be working on a 14 by 18 canvas, and I've got a new cup today. Another cloud pour cup, but this one is a little different. It has dividers here, like my last one had four chambers, now this one has three chambers in the top part. It still has the two um, cloud pour chambers in the front. And I love these cloud pour cups because you can use the um, as much cloud mix as you'd like. You can only do one side, you can do both sides. I've even alternated. So I'm really having fun with, um, with all my cloud pour cups. And so this is the first time using this one with the triple. And so I'm kind of excited to see my results. The colors that I'm going to be using today, I've got uh, Deco Art Americana uh, Decor Metallics, and this one is a deep sapphire. And then I also have from Deco Art Americana a copper. And uh, let's see, also from Deco Art, I have got, um, I guess the wrong bottle there. <laughs> this is the right one. It is um, from Dazzling. Decor Dazzling Metallics, it's Peacock Pearl. And then I have this really, really pretty color that I mixed up. Um, and it is Amsterdam um, Magenta, what is this? Permanent, oh, not Magenta. <laughs> Permanent Red Violet Light. It reminds me of um, Liquitex has a, a, a light magenta, I think it's that same color. But what I did was I added some Vallejo Pearl Medium to that. And if you could see that, it's got a, a nice pearl shimmery look to it. So it's super, super pretty. And uh, let's see, then I have my Cloud Mix, of course. And it is also Vallejo Pearl Medium with Bare uh, satin enamel ultra pure white. I have two tablespoons of the bare satin enamel, one tablespoon of Vallejo Pro Medium, two tablespoons of Floetrol, um, a tablespoon of Golden GAC 800, and just a couple drops of water, maybe um, teaspoon not much water at all um, and that is my recipe for that I do have a mixing video um, where I show you how I mix it so you can check out that video if you're interested I'm gonna go ahead and get started and let's see first well first of all um, I almost forgot I am going to cover my canvas with um, this color I've got in my bottle and it is uh, it's a turquoise I've got the fine touch uh, what is that? oh phthalo turquoise jeez and then I couldn't even remember the color and then from deco art Americana premium it's cobalt turquoise hue and this is um, I've only got six ounces of paint and this canvas is gonna take more than six ounces so I am just gonna go ahead and cover it with turquoise um, and we'll see what happens maybe I'll get some I'll have some negative space we'll see um, I'm just kind of trying to trying to a little experiment I guess and see because you don't necessarily um, have to like always put like a puddle down and stuff too because some people put puddles down I don't but um, sometimes so that's why I'm kind of trying this one to see if I could just put more paint if I just cover the canvas and then I don't need a bigger cup because I do have a 10 ounce um, but I don't have the 10 ounce yet in the split cloud pour cup so I figured I would just experiment this way doing this as well and a, a bunch of big, little experiments in one. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right. And I'm 
not really going to worry too much about this size. Okay, so now I've got my cup and it's going to be a little bit harder to do now since I have that. Well, first, before I forget, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just pop these bubbles. You can see kind of all the air bubbles from spreading, <laughs> from spreading it around. Hopefully that doesn't really transfer. Um, because if you guys have watched my any of my other videos, you know that I'm not too big of a fan of air bubbles myself. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start putting the cloud mix and yep, I'm just gonna fill the one side and uh, that's all I'm gonna do with the cloud mix today on that side. So sometimes I do two, sometimes I do one. And then I'm only, I don't have a lot of this. So that's why I'm using this pretty glue. The deep sapphire is really, really pretty. I hope I don't drop this cup. <laughs> I'm nervous I'm gonna drop this cup. <laughs> oh geez. All right. Oopsie. Or do that. <laughs> or It's all right though. It won't really matter once I get going here. All right, and now this is the tricky one. Because I have to do this. <laughs> now, as you can see, this is a bigger chamber in the middle. Um, and that was kind of done on purpose. So this can be maybe the primary color. And like I said, this is my first time using the cup. So it's kind of a test to see you know, if that's really how it's gonna go. That's just the thinking behind that. All right, and now I have got my gas on metallics. That pearl. All right, you can see all those pretty colors in there. I'm gonna try to move a little bit of stuff around real quick because I'm of a little I had this all kind of set up but since I coated my canvas I kind of feel a little like it's it's not right <laughs> I feel a little off here my husband would say it's not it's normal <laughs> for that anyway all right so um there we go I'm just gonna go ahead and get started
everybody here we go with the dried photos and I love this I love the colors in this that copper is just so pretty I got some nice defined lines and I got this really cool design in the middle of the clouds so it's super super cool I would love to hear what you guys think so leave me a comment below and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and also share this video if you think someone else may enjoy it. Alright guys, I think this is another successful cloud pour cup. This new triple split worked perfectly. It is available in my Etsy shop. Bigger sizes to come. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in my next one.